Hey guys, Jake here from Positive Existence Personal Training. Just wanted to check in. I'm here at Peps Pune in India and I want to talk to you about the only one way you can change your life and get different results. Okay, so if you want a different outcome, whether that be in your health, in your wealth, in your career, in your family, whatever it is, this is the only one way you can do it. Okay, and that is if you want a different world on the outside, you need to create a different world on the inside. In other words, you need to become a different person, okay? So if you want to lose 10 kgs, you need to become the person that can be fit, healthy, and strong, and keep it up. If you want to grow your income, you need to be the person that can deliver the value to earn the income. So I'm going to teach you today about one of my favorite principles, which is the identity iceberg. This beautiful looking, that's in case you're wondering what it was. My beautiful artwork, it's an iceberg, okay? So just like an iceberg, people, we have things that we can see on the outside, okay? You can see my appearance, you can hear my words, you can see my actions, etc. And then we have a whole bunch of things on the inside or underneath the surface that you can't see. However, it's these things underneath that shape the things up above or the things on the inside that shape what is on the outside so in other words life is a mirror okay what's on the outside simply a projection of what's coming from in so I want to talk to you about how do we change ourself and I apologize for the noise there's a few trucks and stuff rattling around outside hopefully you can hear me okay how do we change ourselves so that we can change our results okay and there's four five really simple ways I'm going to walk you through the first is skills. Of course, if you're going to uh, lose some weight, you need to learn some skills about healthy eating and about uh, exercise. However, if you don't change some more things, you would, I'm sure you would agree there's a lot of people that know how to exercise, they know how to go for a walk, they know how to eat vegetables, right? Yet they don't do it. So skills is clearly not the only thing we need to look out for. But that's the easiest one to change. Beliefs is the next one. It's a little bit further down, a little bit lower underneath, a bit deeper inside, a little bit more challenging to change. Uh, some people believe that it is uh, possible to lose weight. Other people believe it is impossible. I'm sure you've heard people say, I've tried everything and nothing works. That's a belief. They believe that nothing is gonna work for them. Therefore, they don't try. They don't, they don't behave and they don't take the actions to lose the weight. They don't make another attempt because they believe it's not possible, okay? So I believe I was put on this earth to create a healthier, happier world and help millions of people. Therefore, I'm standing here in India, uh, you know, without much sleep for a little while and shooting this video for you guys. My actions and behaviors are different based on my beliefs are different, okay? So understand that you can change your beliefs, okay? But first you've got to identify what your limiting beliefs are and then challenge them and create some new beliefs, okay? So we have disempowering beliefs and we have empowering beliefs, right? So you trade your disempowering ones, the ones that hold you back, for ones that are going to help you grow and move forward, okay? The next one is values. Now this one's a little bit trickier and can sometimes get a bit confusing, okay? But if you don't value your health, you're not going to go and go to boot camp, or you're not going to go for the run or go to the gym. You're not going to behave like a person who values their health. So, if you know that your kids are the most important thing to you, for example, what you need to do is link your kids and your health. So if you want to lose weight and your kids are really important to you, you need to link that in your brain really, really clearly. Write a list of 20 reasons why being more healthy is going to help you be a better role model for your kids. And all of a sudden you've changed your values. You now value health much more highly than you might have five minutes ago. So you can change your values, but you need to be, be very, very clear. Okay, so if you're trying to grow a business, one of my big challenges is I've never really valued money. I've never been a person that kind of chased money. Um, I've always valued impact and making a bigger impact. And what I had to do is link making more money to be able to have a bigger impact so we can grow our business and expand into new territories and new locations and things like this to have a bigger impact. So you can do it, but you've got to be a little bit clever about how you do that one. The next one, possibly the most important, is your identity. How do you see yourself? If I see myself as a fit, healthy, happy person, then I'm going to wake up every day, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to look after my body because I appreciate it. If I see myself as a useless piece of you know what, then I'm much less likely to do those things, right? In fact, I'm not gonna do them consistently. 
One day I might sum up the willpower to go for a run, but I'm not gonna be exercising every day if I don't see myself as a fit, healthy, happy person that's worthy of uh, love and appreciation. Okay, I'm not gonna appreciate myself, am I? I'm not gonna do the things. So how do we change our identity is the question that we often get when we talk about this. And, and it takes some work, I'm not gonna lie, it takes some work. But the first thing is you need to practice positive self-talk. And this is the number one tip for changing your identity. Get a piece of paper and write these words. I am, I am, etc. Ten, ten times down the side of your page. And then you're going to place some words. So who are you trying to become? Okay, who are you trying to become? I am fit, healthy and happy. I am strong both physically and mentally. I am an inspirational role model to my children. Whatever it is for you. Come up with 10 and then you're going to say them to yourself every single day. For bonus points, you do that in the mirror. Okay, if you say it in the mirror, you're selling yourself. You're convincing yourself every day and slowly but surely, you're going to rewire the way that your brain thinks about yourself. Okay, so the conversations you have to yourself, about yourself, while you are by yourself are by far the most important conversations you'll have in your entire life. Okay, so that's top tip for changing your identity. Now, the number one thing that's gonna make the biggest difference to all of this, and if you're gonna just do one thing from this video, it is to change your environment. Imagine an iceberg in hot water. It's not gonna stay an iceberg for long, right? It's gonna melt and, and dissipate. So just like us, we need to make sure we need to put ourselves in a great environment. For example, are you hanging out with inspirational people who are helping you move towards your goals and the life you want to create? Or are you hanging out with people who are holding you back? Okay. If you want to give up smoking and you hang out with smokers, it's going to make your job so much more difficult. right? So if you want to lead a healthy, happy life, go find some healthy, happy people, hang out with them, change your environment. Okay, so that's why boot camp's so great. You're with a whole bunch of other people, you know, with smiling faces, all proactively trying to improve their life. Okay, so that's a really great example of changing your environment. Okay, so other ways you can change your environment. Stop watching things like the news that make you feel depressed all the time. Okay, um, change your house, your house up. Put some positive quotes and things like that up unfollow the people on Facebook who are always complaining about stuff and follow the people who are always trying to move forward and grow and improve their life, okay? Instead of listening to the radio and listening to Taylor Swift's latest breakup song, listen to an audio book that's gonna help you. If you wanna learn more about your mindset, listen to an audio book about mindset. And if you want, send us a message and I'll give you some ideas, okay? If you wanna learn more about health and nutrition, find an audio book on that. If you wanna learn about growing your business, Read books, okay? Read books, they'll totally transform your whole life, okay? With a bit of knowledge. So, guys, that's it. If you want different results in your life, you need to become a different person. It's as simple as that. That is your job. Become the person worthy of the result, okay? Become the person worthy of the result. And that's the, literally the only way you can do it, okay? Uh, if you focus on willpower and, and all that kind of stuff, it's short-lived, it won't last. Okay, if you wanna create a new life for yourself, Create a new person, become a new person. Uh, change is great and in fact is the only way to move forward. So you're either growing or you're dying. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. I hope that was helpful. Uh, any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.